Extreme Games Pickup! Hi guys, Glorious back with another game haul. Uh, most of these are from Extreme Games in Ashby. We've been over a couple of times to uh, get a few titles. Uh, but first of all, we had a trip to Loughborough again. Uh, went over to the CEX and a uh, few other kind of game exchange places. I want to believe what's called game exchange or something like that. And we managed to get our first game, Coded Arms, on the PSP. Now I've got the, the sequel, the second one, so well happy to get the first one. One ninety nine, all complete. Yeah, so start the series and find out what the first person shoot is like on the PSP. I do have a holiday coming up, so I'll be taking my PSP and trying out all these PSP games we've got. I've got quite a few today, so that'll be interesting. Then we went over to the the CEX, uh, one I don't get to go over to very often, and we've got a few bits in. Uh, so on the original Xbox, we found for a pound galleon. So kind of a uh, a pirate's washbuckling adventure from the creator of Lara Croft. Uh, I played it just a few minutes just to kind of see what the deal was with it. Seems all right. Do have this little number here that will easily come off the case or get a case replacement. So there we are. Then a game that I knew there was one on the. PlayStation, but not on the PlayStation 2, so I don't know much about this, but it's an X-Files game, uh, Resist or Serve. There we are, X-Files on the PS2, uh, three quid, do like the X-Files, love the series, it's, I've got them all on DVD, yet to watch, but yeah, it looks, looks pretty damn good. Again, played it, just the, the intro, the manual is in pristine condition, really good. Um, and it seems pretty good, kind of almost like a survival horror kind of game, obviously a bit of detective work and stuff. You get to play as Mulder and Scully. Um, I don't, it doesn't say whether they, um, not Gillian Anderson and David Coffey do the voices, but if they don't do the voices, the people who did their voices are spot on, like the voice work is awesome. So, yeah, I would say it was them, because it was that good, but it doesn't actually sound the case. And then on the Wii, we've got our Conduit 2, a game I picked up from another CX in Leicester. And when I opened it, instead of having Conduit 2 inside, it had Conduit inside the first one. So I had to take it back. He didn't have one in that store, but I was lucky enough to pick one up in Loughborough. So we now have that, three quid, Conduit 2 on the Wii. So a good range of games there. And we've still got a good range to come, some more. PS2, regional Xbox, PSP. So our first trip into Ashby to Extreme Games. Um, just went, just on the off chance, had a quick little round. I only picked up three titles on our first kind of look. We're in a bit of a rush, so we're strapped for time. So now a good look around. Uh, but we did pick up a few games. Let's have a look, start with this. So just for a quid um, on the OG Xbox without warning. Another kind of third person shooter. Bit of fun. And I don't know which one's the best of these. Let's go for our Wii game. It's a Dragon Quest game on the Wii. Dragon Quest Swords. So it's kind of trying to get into. These stickers were no I meant to get off. Try and get off at some point. But yeah, this was a fiver. It's in really good condition, like almost apart from the stiff on the front, like mint condition. It's got all the leaflets and gumph in there. Manual's not even been opened. Absolute spanking new. So yeah. And another one uh, on the PSP. One that I've seen a few times when I've been in there and not picked up this time. I just decided to get it. Like I say, going on already soon, so something to play. Fantasy Action RPG. Warriors of the Last Empire. Again, sorry about covering the artwork. Just left them on so I can remember how much I've got them for. So this was a fiver as well. Mind you, it has a bit of a bend in it. Just where it's been folded, but that'll straighten out. It's in, still in good condition. So, another RPG kind of game on the PSP. Great uh, games to play on the PSP. Now, our second trip to Ashby in Extreme Games. We got quite a few. 
So the missus had to take a car in to get some work done, so we had plenty of time to look around uh, town and in Extreme Games. We did hit a few charity shops, they had a, not really too much in there, a lot of HD Blu-rays, you know, like the, the 360 had um, in the like crimson red cases, loads of them around, so if I do pick up one of them HD drives from the 360 at some point, I know I can get some discs, and they have some good films as well. Uh, we only picked up one title from uh, Charity Shop, and that was 99p Jumanji on the PS2. I've only seen it once before. On the back, it does look a bit crappy, um, but I put it in to test it out, and I think it can be quite a bit of fun. Four player kind of um, party game. Manual, again, pristine condition, absolutely flat. So, we'll give it a blast for some fun, add it to the collection. Uh, the only other charity shop we've seen a few bits in, they had two OG Xbox games, both of which I already had, however they were in mint condition, like they looked brand new, not a mark on them, the cases still felt like sheeny, you know what I mean, they were just absolutely amazing, I was tempted to pick them up, but they were four quid each, four quid from a charity shop, four quite a bit expensive really, like you can normally pick it up for one or two quid. So we left them for now, and uh, I don't know, I might go back and get them, see if they're still there. Like I say, they were absolutely mint condition, so they were it's like Pirates of the Caribbean and Brothers in Arms Road Hill 30 I think it was, had its map in, like again, not even been touched, so yeah, they were, we'll see. However, in Extreme Games, we had a proper good look around this time, so plenty of time to have a good flick through every single game, every system, see what we got, and we got quite a bit. So, we'll start off with start off with our PS2 stuff. So, on the PS2, we have Pitfall: The Lost Expedition for two quid, and as it says on top, it includes Pitfall and Pitfall 2. So, we played it a bit, like I say, I always test them out, give them a blast. Um, it, it seems like a bit of fun, third person kind of adventuring game, getting over traps and escaping whatever dangers are around. Again, manual, pristine condition, flat as, so well happy with that. And then we have Warhammer 40,000 Fire Warrior for two quid. First person shooter based in the Warhammer world. You play as a Tau soldier, if you know anything about Warhammer. Um, it, but it says on the back, and this is what really made me pick it up. Starring the voice talents of Tom Baker and Brian Blessed. Brian Blessed is a legend. No matter what he does, it's gonna be good. Um, he just has the most unique, booming voice. So I don't know who he voices, um, but looking forward to see what he does in that game. Awesome. And again, our last PS2 title uh, for two quid again, Legion, The Legend of Excalibur. Yeah, it third person hacky slashy RPG kind of game again. Um, do like this kind of stuff. It says there's special DVD extras. Includes behind the scenes footage with seven studios and a look at The Legend of King Arthur, which obviously is kind of loosely based on. Yeah, I'll give a blast, see what, see what that's like. And of course, we picked up some OG Xbox titles. Uh, we've got four. The first one I picked up is probably the best of the bunch. Four quid, one of the most expensive games I've bought on the system so far. Not that I own, I've got way more expensive ones. Uh, but I've been picking up a lot of the, the cheap titles to bulk out the collection first before we start hitting the more expensive ones. But I found this, uh, four quid, and it's one I've been looking for it is Aliens vs Predator Extinction. Awesome. So I've got a couple of sticks to get off there, but yeah. Now I put it in, and you do get all three campaigns. So there's a Marines campaign, Aliens campaign, and a Predator campaign. It seems a bit RTS-y, but it's, don't think it's an RTS. Um, so yeah, I really need to proper get down and start playing it. See what it's like, it seems quite a bit of fun. Can't go wrong, Williams vs Predator. <laughs> Again, great condition, nice manual. So, make that's alright. 
than a game I've never seen or heard of before. So I don't know if it's an uncommon title, rare title, uh, but for a quid, probably not. Like I say, picked it up for a quid. And again, this is in immaculate condition. America's Army, Rise of a Soldier. Like I say, never seen or heard of it before. Brand new spanking condition. So we're liking that. Uh, the most true to life army experience ever. We shall see. I played the, uh, the kind of training mission. Eh, we'll see. Uh, and another game which I picked up before, and I can't remember if it had the wrong disc in again or there was something wrong with it, I don't know. But for a quid, we got the Da Vinci Code. Now, I've not long watched these, the first two, three movies in the series. Um, quite enjoyable. So, a bit of puzzle work involved again great condition so well happy with these and our last title which has lost the price sticker somewhere but I'm pretty sure it was a quid as well I think these were all a quid apart from the aliens and it's driver 3 now I've got the first one obviously on the PlayStation I don't have the second one although they had four copies there and I nearly picked one up that was four quid as well one was platinum, so I won't bother about that. One was smashed to bits, and the other two were kind of alright. I could make a decent copy out of it. Don't know why I didn't pick it up. I think because I picked up so much already. But it's probably a game, and they had four, like I say. So it's one I'll probably go back and get. So I've got almost a complete collection now. Yep, Drive Three, great condition as always. Uh, not played this one at all yet. Uh, just stuck in to make sure that this worked, but. Yeah, on this you don't just, obviously in the original driver you're always in a car going to mission to mission. I think this one you can obviously drive loads of different vehicles, bike stuff. You can actually free roam as well. I think you can get out of your vehicles and walk around and do stuff. So that'll be interesting to see what they've done with that. Then we've got a good PSP bundle. First of all, we've got a film, a UMD, and it's Ghost in the Shell, two quid. I've not long watched uh, the new movie that's just come out with Scott Johansson. Really enjoyed it, actually. Thought it was really good. Uh, so I wanted to watch the, the manga version, compare it, and like I say, it's something to watch on a plane when I go on holiday. That's 80 minutes out of a six, seven hour flight taken up. So yeah, and in this one as well, it came with a nice little PSP guide of UMDs. So I'll flip through that, see if there's anything else. Some of the nice little titles there. So we have another movie to watch on our PSP. Then we had a deal. It was three quid each or five for a tenner. So we picked all five. And we have Grand Theft Auto, Liberty, uh, Liberty, Liberty City Stories. <laughs> and this comes, obviously there's our artwork inside. I'll show you that. We've got a map. Again, of the island, not even been opened yet. Crisp, crisp map, and the manual, which is a nice kind of news paper booklet. Awesome manuals, really nice. And also with that, we got Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Great. And this also great condition. Show you our artwork inside. And this also came with the map in crisp, flat condition, not even been opened. Awesome. Really nice to get them. And again, nice little booklet of kind of a newspaper-y feel. So we have both, I think both GTAs on the PSP. I don't think there's any more. If there is, let me know. I can keep an eye out. And again, they had a few copies, um, a couple of... Platinum ones, I've picked up one of the platinum ones because it's absolutely brand new. Uh, they had one that wasn't platinum but it was damaged and I know you could change the case which was smashed up but the actual inlay was uh, water damaged so it was, yeah, it was, wasn't worth it. So we've got Killzone Liberation. So for the platinum one, I can always, like I say, this is brand new anyway, apart from the stupid I think, game stickers on there. Um, but yeah, flat, good condition. 
you know, see if we can get a, a good condition, normal one at some point. Now, how do you pronounce this? Mitran Wars? I think. I don't know. Mitran Wars? Yeah, whatever. Never seen or heard of it before. Looks on the back. Looks kind of interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. So, something else to play on the plane. On holiday. Whatever. Great stuff. Looks interesting. Like my little kind of games on the PSP. It can be a fun system. And we already had one of these games. Can't remember which one. Anyway, we already have one of these on the PSP. I can't remember which one. It's not this one, obviously. This is Socomius Navy Seals and Fire Team Bravo. So we've got two of these now on the PSP. Now, it does have a not to be sold separately sticker on. So, obviously, this came with some kind of bundle, maybe with a headpiece or something. Let me know. Um, I can keep an eye out for that or another version. It's got manuals and stuff. So, yeah, there is our. Horn, or is it? We also managed to get on the Wii. Bam! Gun holder. Finally, got so many light gun games on the Wii. Seen this? It's not the kind of official one, but it still looks pretty good. This bit comes off, so you can use it as a, as a pistol or the, the full-on light gun. Ask him how much he wanted. A quid. Can't go wrong for a quid. Bam. So we'll be trying this out, we'll also be looking out for another one, get one of the official ones. Me and the missus can play some co-op or light gun blasting guns, or I can just go dual wielding, which is always fun. I have two Joy-Cons, so always sitting there and playing two player by myself. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. Always good. So yeah, it's always sort of a, a uh, kind of a battery pack, I don't know if it's got a rumble feature or something in it. So that'll be interesting. I've not tried it yet. Get that blast later. And because they had a they had a promotion on where was it? And if you spend five quid this week, you got a poster. Now it's still sealed. I had no idea what it was. You got to pick out of a bunch. Um, but I've seen a city on it. So I thought, well, it's going to be an Elder Scrolls Skyrim or Fallout, I should imagine. So I picked it up. It's all black, so I had no idea what it was going to be. And it is a Fallout 4 poster. It's it's quite big, and it's just the, the typical Fallout 4 mask of the power armor on there. So putting this on the, the door or somewhere, it's, it's quite nice. So I got that free, so that was good. Um, and yeah, and that is our haul for today. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any of these games, if you've played any of these games, what do you think about these games? Always interested to hear other people's points of view. Like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for the people who have subscribed and liked on my videos. It means a lot. We're pushing quite a few subscribers now. We're getting up nearly into the 90s. So, yeah, we're getting there. Soon be hopefully hitting that 100. That'd be good. We did go to a car boot last week. I haven't done a video yet because I didn't get that much. It was a massive car boot. There were loads of people, but only got a small kind of stack of games. So we are going again this week. So I'm going to hopefully get a few more and we'll do a better, bigger video. So a double whammy of car boot videos coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned and find out what else is coming. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.